On July 23, 2014, interns from Ball Aerospace and United Launch Alliance, in addition to K-12 students from around the country, launched three high-power sport rockets carrying multiple payloads thousands of feet above the ground. The seventh annual event took place at the Hudson Ranch in Pueblo, Colorado. Working on their own time, interns at Ball Aerospace have just eight weeks to design, build, and test experimental payloads that launch aboard the ULA intern-built rockets. The program, known as the Ball Intern Rocket Scientist Team, or BURST, provides interns the opportunity to experience a full program and launch campaign in a much shorter time frame. The 2014 BURST team created some of the most complex designs ever, with payloads ranging from smoke bombs to simulated Mars rovers. We are Team Imagine, and we've got four different parts to our payload. We have a sensor suite, which is going to have two, uh, al two accelerometers, an altimeter, and a GPS. And so we'll be able to track that signal and actually use um, a sonar locator to help find the payload faster. We have multicolored smoke bombs that are attached to an altimeter to trigger them. So we'll have a different color go off at different different altitudes. Um, and then we have a stabilizing camera that's on a gyroscopic gimbal. And so that will hopefully provide some really stable footage of descent. And then once we're on the ground, the fourth part of our payload is a tetrapod that will sort of open up similar to the way the Mars rover pod did. It'll drive itself from the place where our payload lands back to the original launch site. Um, we do this using two systems. The first is a GPS system that can send and receive its data um, to our laptop via a 50-foot antenna that, um, and it'll send health data, telemetry data, altitude, things like that, and we'll send it back. You know, you're at point B, we're at point A. Here's, here's some points to follow to get back to the original site. So the BURST program applies to my internship here at Ball based on what I decided to get involved with on the team. Uh, with that being said, with the BURST program you can get involved with a various range of subjects. Um, I myself focused on the electronic components that are going to go on our craft. Um, if I didn't want to do that, I could focus. The other large group of the team is focusing on the actual structure um, of what's going to be launched out of the, out of the uh, rocket. Um, so with that being said, what I'm working with on my internship is essentially hardware components, uh, a lot of circuit di diagrams, things along those lines. So what I'm doing on the first team is either supplementing that or you can look at it the other way around where what I'm learning on the internship is helping me complete I feel like the work involved in the BURST program is really just sort of the experience of the aerospace industry on a smaller scale. And I really want to graduate and end up in a position in the aerospace industry at a company like Ball. And so the BURST program is a really great experience to come up with a concept, design it, and execute it in a very short amount of time, which I feel like is a very good representation of the work you would do in the aerospace industry. Well, the BURST program is another project that has to be managed. You have to manage the time, the budget, and you have to manage different people. So as a facilities engineer, on a daily basis, I manage several projects and I deal with the schedule, the budget, and all other parties involved in the project. So I would say the BURST project's uh, project management aspect directly relates to what I do on a day-to-day -day basis as a facilities engineer.